Posse. My name is Will, and welcome to our part two of our Oscar series. Um, so last week, we gave you guys our predictions for the Oscar awards, and spoiler alert, we didn't do very well. Nope. Um, I don't think we could have expected Will Smith to slap Chris Brown. We'll get to that in a moment, but we'll talk about it very briefly. Um, so I think it's fair to talk about the entire the entire award show like about the the winners and like cause i have some notes uh, um on my laptop here that i can pull up e pretty easily yep um i've got my notes from our predictions alongside the um actual winner now all right so to start off we have best original screenplay belfast won the award over don't look up king richard licorice pizza and the worst person in the world I have I've lost four. Okay, best uh, original screenplay. Yeah, which was Belfast. Bottom top. Yeah, I got this one correct actually. Okay, I think I had licorice. Uh, I had licorice pizza with that one, and Kenneth Branagh, who wrote the script, actually, but wrote both and directed. Uh, the last time he did that was The Magic Flute, which was released in two thousand and six. Oh, uh, he's great. Yeah, he's very talented. Um, okay, so for Best Adapted Screenplay, it, it ended up being Coda over Drive My Car, Dune, The Lost Dog, uh, and The Power of the Dog. And uh, Coda actually made history at this uh, year's Oscars, which we will get to in a moment. Yeah, I had Lost Daughter. I was just kind of throwing that in on a fluke. I went with The Power of the Dog, which I actually will get to eventually, because from what I've seen, it's very good. Yeah. Um... um for best visual effects, it ended up being Dune. I think I picked that one. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I picked Shang-Chi. Um, one of the people behind uh, the effects for Dune, Paul Lambert, was also known for doing the visual effects for First Man and arguably one of the most underrated movies ever, in my opinion, Blade Runner 2049. And coincidentally, Blade Runner 2049 and uh, Dune were directed by the same person. The more you know. Yeah. No, I uh, I got uh, a lot of notes. I'm doing a, a TV show tomorrow uh, working on this. Uh, gotcha. Uh, so for best sound, it, once again, it was Dune. I predicted Dune. We got it right. Uh, yep. Um, mm -hmm. Next up, we have best live action short film. That award went to The Long Goodbye. I wrote down the dress. I wanted to just pick it at random. Yeah, I think I went with the long goodbye. Um, the award for best animated short film it ended up being the windshield wiper over. Uh, I put down uh, bestia. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. For the award for best production in the design, it was once again uh, Dune. I have Nightmare Alley. I wanted Nightmare Alley to win something. I am so disappointed in that. No, I'm disappointed that Power of the Dog only won one award, but. As we said before, we'll get to that in just a minute. Mm -hmm. um, for best original song, no, no shock, at least from me, is that it was no time to die. And that means Encanto did not win it. No, even though Dos Orguitas is a fantastic song. Can we agree if it had been We Don't Talk About Bruno, it would have won? <laughs> I mean, okay. Don't get me wrong. It's a really good song. And, like... Every day when I like go out to work, uh, I when I turn on the radio, I almost always hear it. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We. I, I still feel like that song would have won if it had been nominated instead of. Um... Really, really, because I feel like Dos Orguitas told like a really good story. Oh, like, it does. It really, helped, it really helped advance move uh, the plot forward. For those who have seen the movie, you pretty much know which version part of the story we're talking about well my reasoning for we don't talk about bruno is because people love that song so much it would have they probably would have been like forced to give it to, to we don't talk about no bruno. i say uh, this is on the same level as like let it go hukuna matana and you're welcome exactly yep. anyways um, moving on so rest original score it was dune being composed I had dune. By, being composed by the legendary han zimmer yeah he's a man that needs no introduction when it comes to movie music Pirates of the Caribbean, and a bunch of other stuff. I don't remember. Dark Knight trilogy, Inception. Yeah. Um, for best, uh, makeup, best makeup and hairstyling, that went to The Eyes of Tammy Faye. I wanted House of Gucci only because I was familiar with it thanks to 
I'm actually currently reading the book. Okay. I think I went with Dune on this one. Yeah. Even though the makeup was like pretty simple, but to be fair, the makeup in Suicide Squad was pretty simple, except with the exception for uh, Croc. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I agree with Suicide Squad uh, winning that award. I'm okay with that because it is pretty good, even though I don't think it's a great movie. No, it's. I think that's overdue for a review, I think. It is. Honestly, it's kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Yeah, I'd say the same for me. Yeah. All right, so for Best International Feature Film, it was Drive My Car. What was Drive My Car here? I believe I went with Flea, which turns out is actually an animated documentary. And how many of those do you see nowadays? I know, right? It's also so unique. Yep. If, um, in hindsight, it probably should have gone to Flea. Yeah, probably. But I'm okay with Drive My Car winning. All right, so for Best uh, Film Editing, uh, it, it ended up being uh, Dune once and more. I got that one right. That was one of the Dune ones I got correct. Okay, quick disclaimer. Dune nearly cleans house with this award show. It was a good movie. Oh, it was very good. But I'm not going to say it was better than uh, a lot of movies that are listed on here. Fair enough. No, I just, At least it didn't win Best Picture. I just think there are some movies on here that I think are better. I would say like the best picture award is kind of like the big one. That's why they save it for last. Yeah, that's and thankfully Dune did not win that. Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, for uh, best documentary short subject, we have the Queen of Basketball taking home the the win. I had Audible for some reason. Um, I think I had three songs for Benazir. Yes, I did. Yeah. All right. So for best documentary feature, it ended up being Summer of Soul. I had Attica. Didn't get it that right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Summer of Soul ended up winning. Mm-hmm. Uh, for best costume design, went to a movie we actually reviewed a, a little while ago, Cruella. Cruella de Vil. <laughs> I can't stop. No, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. um, other nominees were Cyrano, which, you know, my mom actually told me about is actually very good, which I think I'll check out at some point. Uh, Dune, Nightmare Alley, and West Side Story, which, mm-hmm. by the way, uh, I'm also a little bit disappointed that I only won one award. Um, for Best Cinematography, once again, it went to Dune. There. I was hoping it was West Side Story. Yeah, I was hoping it was uh, West Side Story because the shots in that uh, movie were absolutely fantastic. And I haven't wrong, even seen it yet. Don't get me wrong. I need to. It's on my list. The cinematography in Dune is really, really good. I haven't even seen the original West Side Story. It's on HBO Max. I uh, okay, good. And, good, good. And we might have both to we, we might have to cover both of them at some point. Do them back to back. Yeah, it works. So do like a little comparison. I actually I'm on board with that. Yeah. All right. So our best animated feature film, Big Shock, and Kanto wins. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there really anything else we can uh, talk about? I mean, we love this movie a ton. Yeah. Remember, I saw it three times. I saw it three times as well. That was a fun review. Oh, it was a very uh, fun review. Okay, so for, actor, that out. for actress in a supporting role, we had uh, Ariana DeBose for her role as Anita in West Side Story. My prediction was Ke- Kristen Dunst. I w- wanted Mary Jane Watson to win. I just That's all I saw, just Mary Jane Watson. Boom, I she actually had, had a thought here. I actually had a thought here. So wasn't it uh, a few years ago? when Leonardo DiCaprio announced uh, Kate Winslet as a winner for an Oscar, or was that just, did that not actually happen? I don't remember. I, I remember he won an Oscar for best acting in uh, The Revenant. That's what it was. No, because we all know those two as Jack and Rose from the critically acclaimed Titanic. Yes. Um, what if, what if, this was just a thought, what if, if either Kristen Dunst or Tobey Maguire won an Oscar, the other one announces them as the winner? <laughs> It would work for any couple that was in like a cl- it, would, movie. it would work for any movie couple. And for those who know Toby Maguire and Kristen Dunst, obviously as Spider Man and Mary Jane. Yeah. But it's like good to or, see them doing other projects. Maybe Will Smith will announce Chris Rock as a winner. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we sorry, I, to- could res- I could resist that joke. We'll, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, so just hang tight. Yeah. Um, the award for best actor in a supporting role went to Troy Kotzer for his role. And Coda, this actually uh, went down its history as the first uh, ever deaf man to win an acting Oscar. Uh, again, I had um, a Spider-Man actor, J.K. Simmons. I had, let's see. Jesse I love Simmons. I just... 
I think I would probably predict him if he ever got nominated in the future. Yeah, probably. I mean, he's probably Unless I be- knew one of the other movies that was on the list. He's proven to be in a lot of uh, good movies. Um, I mean, in, during the award show, they celebrated Juno, which is a very underrated movie, I think. Yeah. We've got a lot of Emma from the Oscars to review. Oh, yeah. They keep um, the series going for no, years on what they got. No, there was like 50 years of The Godfather, 60 years of James Bond. <sighs> those would be a pain to review all those. There's that would take, a- like... There's so much that we have to cover. Like, we've only begun to scratch the surface of all the movies that we want to review. Yeah. And all only right. five years or plus into this. And for the award for Best Lead Actress, it went to Jessica Chastain for her role in The Eyes of Tammy Faye. I had Kristen Stewart. I had... What? Nancy Cruz. <laughs> okay. No, no, when my... No. I need to defend my choice for Kristen Stewart because... People know her from Twilight. Yes. And I think okay. that, I think ever since then, when people saw Robert Pattinson in movies like The Lighthouse and now the new Batman movie, um, then it's proven that he could actually be a good actor. Well, which big Hollywood movies has Kristen Stewart been in? I don't remember the last uh, movie she was in after... Uh, she was in that Charlie's Angels movie review that you hated? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, to be okay. fair, to be fair to Kristen Stewart, she's been in some French films I've heard about. I haven't seen them yet, but I've heard some really good things about them, and it made me feel sorry for her. Plus, if you saw way back in the day, Will and I actually reviewed the first Twilight on its own. The video is not listed. We found out that a pr- friend of ours' personal information was in the background on a monitor, so we had to delete that video. Yeah. But the point is that we actually didn't see it as like, it's watching it nowadays. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. Now it's a stupid 110% it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> but uh, but in a way we it, recommend some it. Of the side, some of the side characters did work. Yes. Um, we got a lot of great ammo out of them. Some of the oh, more yeah. comedic moments. <laughs> um, yes, the acting is bland. Both Patterson and Stewart are wooden in that movie whatever there's at least really good effects like yeah yeah sure you get that cg baby in the last movie they use practical effects in the first one yeah give this movie as much uh, garbage as uh, you want there is a tiny percent of passion put into this movie yeah i and also i had a younger sister and i had to watch all but the last one with her thanks to her having a big obsession of those movies at the time Ah. Uh. If I remember correctly, I think it's just that first one that has the passion. I, I think they kind of lose in the sequel. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and review them all. I don't want to watch them again on my own. I want to review yeah, them. Yeah, to, review be honest, to be honest, uh, those movies have kind of like faded from my memory a little bit. I mean, I remember a tiny bit, but it's like very little. Do you think we can just do like a Twilight Month just to torture ourselves? Sure. Why not? Okay. And we can go back and re-review the first one too. Yeah. Okay, so... And anyways, uh, that's like for the future. For okay. future justice that we'll worry about. Let's keep going on this. We've got so right. sidetracked. All right, so now for the moment uh, we've been uh, wanting to talk about, oh, but we're going to talk about it very briefly. Well, we've got the best actor in leading role directing in picture still. Yeah. No, that's what I'm trying to get at. Best okay. lead actor in a lead role. And uh, the winner of that uh, movie, Will Smith. Well, for those who have seen, uh, he was in a bit of a... Uh, a confrontation with Chris Rock. So, I'll admit, we actually watched the Oscars together with a friend of ours, and we at first thought that it was staged. Yes. Uh, we think we were wrong now, um, but though I'm hearing again that it is staged, so I don't really know anymore. It's so uh, I'm not. I, I'm just not going to debate it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to pretty much summarize. Chris Rock made a joke. Um about Jada Pinkett Smith. Then Will Smith goes up on stage, slaps him, and shouts, keep your... Keep my wife's name out of your bleeping mouth. That's what it was. Thank you. I flubbed up on it. Sorry. No, it's all good. Now, some people have said, and I don't believe this, is that Will Smith was laughing at first. I I think he was. Point is that Pinkett kind of looked at him sternly, and then he went up and slapped uh, Chris Walk. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's about that's about all we're that's it probably is. Yeah, yeah. we're just giving you the fact what we know. 
Um, it, it's turned into a meme at this point. It's kind of replaced that uh, Batman oh, Batman Robin thing. Have you seen that, Will? What? It's replaced that, you know that meme for a while that, of Batman no, slapping Batman Robin? Robin? Yeah, this has replaced that. No, we're going to see more of these in the future. Yeah, at this point, we're not going to debate anymore. Okay? No, but, no, I'm trying to, this is the last thing I'm going to say about this uh, comfort, this incident. It's unfortunate that out of the entire award show, this is arguably the most well-known thing that happened in the, in the whole show. I have heard that Will Smith did apologize at one point. So. He did, he did. Okay. So, so anyway, we can back, move on. So anyways, back to uh, the uh, to our follow-up. Uh, Will Smith won for his role in uh, King Richard, which I also think we should cover at some point. Um, other nominees were Javier Bardem, Benedict Cumberbatch, Andrew Garfield, and Denzel Washington. I went with Andrew Garfield. Again, just Spider-Man love. I think No Way Home kind of wanted me to win, have all the Spider-Man actors win stuff. <laughs> No, I understand. And it's nice that Ben DeCumberbatch is getting some love, too. Yeah. All right. And last but certainly not... Uh, Wait, we... I think we missed Best Directing. Oh, Best Directing. Um, Hold on. That went to J- Jane Campion for Power of the Dog. I had to drive my car. <laughs> and like I said before, that is the only award the Power of the Dog has won. And I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I haven't seen... I've heard good things about it. Uh, yeah, I've heard... Good things about it too. I wanted it to win a couple of awards. So uh, did I? I had it down for best actress in a supporting role. Anyways, and then right. the best picture. All right, now last, are... now last but certainly not least, the, the award for the prestigious best picture. And the winner is Coda. Coda. So this movie actually broke some records because not only does it have a predominantly deaf cast. But it's also the first time a streaming service has won Best Picture. This was an Apple original film. I gotta go watch it now at some point. Oh no, I'm like we gotta it, review it. Each time a movie wins a Best Picture, if I've seen it or or not, uh, like if I haven't seen it, then I always make a case to uh, try to go watch it. Like when Moonlight won a couple of years ago, I made it a case to go see it. Same for uh, Parasite. Um. Oh. And just on. review the best pictures from now on. That actually would be a good month, I think we should do. Like yeah, best just, picture winners. Yeah, just do it immediately after the Oscar or something. No, we should we should uh, consider uh, doing that. In fact, I think uh, for um for uh, next time we do an Oscar predictions video, we should try to get more people involved if we can. Yeah. All right. So out of all those movies, uh, and wait, what was your prediction for the best, best picture? picture? I believe it was The Power of the Dog. I had Nightmare Alley. I wanted that to win something. I love Guillermo del Toro's work. Mm-hmm. I think Shape of Water kind of spoiled me when he won Best Picture. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like that movie. Yeah. Uh, so the person now, who got the first... I've noted here that I have about seven predictions, right? I counted them up, and I'm pretty sure it's seven. Yeah, I, got I have seven. it on my phone here, so. I got seven correct as well, so. We're it's both a tie. Up. We're both Oscar champions. We actually had a friend of ours um, doing it with us, and she only got two. Which is okay. I mean... It, yeah, it was her first time, too. No, Nobody said we were going to get all these right. And like we said before, when we were filming the uh, reaction uh, or the predictions video, that we were most likely going to get a lot wrong. And to be fair to our friend, she was like writing down her predictions during the red carpet event. Yeah. So, yeah, congratulations to Coda for winning Best Picture. Let's just say all, winners all around. And to all, all the winners uh, from the, this past Sunday's uh, show, uh, give yourselves a round of applause. So uh, that's what about does it for this uh, follow-up Oscars show. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, Jessup, what are we going to be doing next week? I, all right, it is, it is my turn. Um, yes. Ooh, I know exactly what we're doing. You want to save it for a surprise, or do you want to tell the, everybody? WW84. I knew that was inevitable. I was going to say right now, I've already seen this, and I think I, I agree with people that it's bad. I just think it's a so bad it's good movie. <laughs> I'm hoping Will has that same experience. It is, <laughs> if you go into a mindset of this just being a with that mindset, it gets a million times better. 
Uh, well, this is what I get for uh, teaming up with Jessup. <laughs> you're welcome. What can I say? Except you're welcome. <laughs> so that's what I've done for this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe for more content. And we will see you next week for the brand new Wonder Woman movie, which I guess was highly anticipated. So well, I feel like highly disappointing for everyone else. <laughs> highly anticipated, but ended up being highly disappointing. So until next time, see you later, Posse.